Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you my new extensions. Irresistible Me sent me two different single weft extensions and here is a picture of what a single weft extension looks like. As you can see, it's just one long weft of hair and it has five clips on it. And I actually requested two different lengths from Irresistible Me, a 14 inch and a 16 inch. And as some of you may know, I have worn Irresistible Me extensions several times in the past and I absolutely love them. In fact, I'll link a couple of videos below that show you how to apply a full set. And as some of you may remember, I stopped wearing extensions maybe about a year ago because my husband was complaining that sometimes he could see the little weft here and so that kind of bothered him and so I thought oh you know I'll quit it and whatever and again when he said that it was mostly because I was wearing the full sets which is a bunch of different pieces of clip-in extensions so it really can get to be a lot of hair in there and when the wind blows in my opinion sometimes you can see them when you have the full set on but like many of you who are 40, 50 plus, I have noticed over the past year that my hair just doesn't seem to be as thick as it used to be. Well, that's not even really true. My hair never used to be thick. And in fact, in the 80s when everybody had big hair, I tried to have big hair too, and it took a lot of teasing and a lot of hairspray, but it never really was that great 80s big hair look which everybody makes fun of it, but I thought it was glorious because I really wanted that. And so about a month ago, feeling like my hair was really thin, I remembered the Irresistible Me extension people, and I know that they have a single weft extension. However, I started wearing my hair shorter, and so I cut that single weft a little too short. So I emailed Anna, who's my contact at Irresistible Me, and she very kindly agreed to send me a 14 inch and a 16 inch extension. And about a month ago, I saw a beautiful video by Risa Does Makeup, and I'll link her channel for you below. I'll try to find the video. But she was trying out the Irresistible Me hair extension extensions and in that video she mentioned that she had been sent extensions from maybe six or seven different extension companies and that none of them compared with the Irresistible Me extensions. And I really believe Risa when she talks I feel like she's really trustworthy and you know the only extensions that I have ever been sent are these Irresistible Me extensions and I really did love them and I always felt like they look supernatural and why shouldn't they because they're 100% Remy human hair. This color Honey Blonde totally matches my hair. There is the extension there and there is my hair. It's just a wonderful match. And so what I will be doing in this video is showing you the 14 inch and I'll just show you the 16 inch here in the box and then next week I'm going to go to my hairdresser and have them shortened because they're both a little bit too long for me and then I'll come back after I go to my salon person and I will show you how they look and I'll actually put them in for you on camera so you can see how the single weft works and if you've never worn hair extensions and you've been leery because of all the different pieces believe me I am leery of that too. This single weft extension is just one piece of hair. It takes like 20 seconds to put in every morning. And I'll go ahead and show you the 14 inch length. And here it is. My real hair, if I can find it, my real hair is like this length. Maybe a little bit longer than that. Maybe about like that. And so my real hair is maybe an inch and a half shorter. And I'll probably have these shortened about an inch because I would like my real hair to get just a little bit longer. But I absolutely love this and I really cannot believe, I'll, I'll try to find the extension for you. Where is it? Okay, here it is. This is the extension and then this is, this is my real hair. And you really can't tell much of a difference between the two at all because I have that honey color woven into my real hair. I absolutely love these extensions, but again, I think that is a little bit long for me, maybe about here something like that. Just enough hair to give my hair a little bit more body, a little bit more thickness. Okay, let me show you what you get in your Irresistible Me box. And I will say that these are extremely cost effective. I think the single weft extension is on sale right now for maybe $55, but even when it's not on sale, it's $69, which to me is so worth it. This is what you get. This is the Irresistible Me box. And this is the 16 inch extension. And this is how it comes for you. And when you get your Irresistible Me extensions in, in the mail, it's very important to remember this. This little side here is a little test side. 
I hope you can see that there. It is an actual clip-in extension, and you're allowed to open that one and test the color. And as long as you don't open this, this side, this larger side, you can send this back for a full refund or for another color. I'll show you what this looks like here. And this is actually a little extension. So even though you've gotten the single weft, you actually get a little freebie here. And it's wrapped up in a hairnet here. I always have problems with this. Okay, here we go. And this is one little curly hair. Isn't that beautiful? And it is in the Honey Blonde color, and you can just test that. And that is the little clip that is on the extension. And I don't know if you can hear that. It is a super strong clip. And in the reviews, people talk about that. And what you can do here is you can take this. In fact, I'll go ahead and clip it in my hair in the front because I am kind of skimpy in the front too. But here we go. Oh my. Oh my. I wish I could make my hair curl like that. I can't. But anyway, so that is how that little clip-in looks. And actually, come to think of it, I have the other little tester weft in this 14-inch that I just have in my hair right now. This one is not as curly. I don't know why it didn't curl like the other one. I thought it'd be kind of fun to have curls there. Okay, let's just go in here. And then I'll just take this. And this will be a little bit shorter because it is the 14-inch weft. But you could just cut that to be equal. That just gives you a little more thickness in the front, and they just send it to you as a test, but it's a nice little bonus. And actually, because this is curly, it reminded me that I have something else that Irresistible Me gave me about six months ago that I really wanted to show you again. I'll put a link below to the video that explains this wonderful flat iron. And, and I have to start out by saying Irresistible Me does not sponsor this video. They do not pay me anything. They're just very kind to send me these great extensions because I absolutely love them. But basically, this is their flat iron, and they did send it to me. And you just turn it on there, and then you can see the temperature going up. And I take it up to about 390 or 410. There it is. It's going on up. And I'll show you how quickly it works. And I have used about every flat iron known to man. From the very high end, I've got a couple of cheese. To the very low end, I had a Revlon before this, and I actually like the Revlon better than the Chi. The Revlon was about $35. But I have to say that once the Irresistible Me people sent me this flat iron, which is the Black Diamond, I think it's called, I have never used another flat iron because this is so much better than any other flat iron I have from the very high end to my Revlon. I really can't believe how great this is. And I'll show you how this works on this little piece of hair here. So here we go, and as you can see, it just totally flattens out that hair. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. And for those of you interested in learning more and who go to see that video, you can see how fabulously it works on my hair because I have very kinky hair in the back that no other flat iron has ever really been able to remedy. And this flat iron does the trick absolutely beautifully. And I just looked this up on the Irresistible Me website to make sure I was telling you the correct name. And it is called the Black Diamond Infrared Hair Straightener. And it is normally $120, but it is on sale right now for $59. And I have to say, I would pay $120 for this because this is an amazing straightener. Okay, end of impromptu commercial. I really hadn't intended to tell you about this, but it is so fabulous and I no longer have that piece of curly hair anymore. And again, I'm going to go to my stylist and have both of those extensions cut. In fact, I may just put them on top of each other and do a double single weft because I would really like to have as much volume as I can. And again, I will be showing that to you next week after I return from the stylist. And in the meantime, for those of you who are interested in great summer tops, here is a top that I got from Amazon. It is under $20. And I also got this beautiful necklace set from Amazon. It is gold filled and not very expensive at all. And just last week, I posted a video on a major Amazon haul. It was almost embarrassing. I got so much stuff from Amazon, but the clothes I found were just phenomenal. And I'll link that video below for those of you who are interested. And in the meantime, I'll see you next week about my hair. 
Hi again, I'm back from seeing Dana, my stylist, and she did color my hair just a little bit lighter than she has in the past, which I kind of like. However, it resulted in my hair not matching those extensions as well now as it did before I went to see Dana. So anyway, it also resulted in a change of something that I did to the extensions, which I'll show you in just a few minutes. Okay, let me show you my hair as it is now without the extensions. And as you can see, the ends of my hair are really getting rather thin. Everything looks okay, but just a little bit on the thinner side. I'm always trying to grow out this front to make it even with the rest of my hair to give myself a little more thickness down there. And apparently these front hairs do not grow as much as the longer hairs. And so it is almost impossible to get these the same length if you really want longer hair as I have. So that's kind of an interesting fun fact to know and tell. And because these never get to be this length, it really makes the ends even a little bit thinner. And that's why I love the idea of the Irresistible Me Clip-In Extension. And here it is. And it is a slightly different color than it was before. And when I got there, my stylist cut them. And she cut them a little bit longer than my hair, which I hadn't really wanted it longer than my hair. I pretty much wanted it the same length. So these are just a tad bit longer than my hair, maybe an inch longer. And looking at the extensions before she colored my hair, she didn't think that they needed to be colored. So when I got them home, they were lighter than they are now. And I put them in. And because they were longer than my hair, you could see little tufts of kind of light blonde hair at the bottom and it didn't look right. So what I did was I did a little DIY and I've done this in the past with my extensions. And I used some of this temporary color. This is Fanciful Rinse and this is in the color Frivolous Fawn number 23. And as you can see, it looks a little bit darker. And the thing about extensions is they don't have to exactly match your hair. They just have to blend. Some of you may want lighter pieces in your extension, but I prefer darker because the extension pretty much lives on the bottom of your hair and the bottom of one's hair is usually darker and it certainly is the case for me. So when I put this frivolous fawn in, it looks a little darker than the top blonde, but it really does go very well with the base part of my hair. And what I did when I went in to see my stylist is that I put both of these extensions together, the 16 inch and the 14 inch. You can clip them together and I'll show you how in just a few moments. And then I put them in the back of my hair. I went in the salon with them in the back of my hair and then my stylist just cut them dry on the back of my head. And what that does is that it enables you to get really thick hair if you want by wearing both extensions together. And I'll show you that in just a few moments. But first I'll go ahead and show you how one single weft extension looks. And I do know that the color is a little bit uneven here, but that doesn't really bother me. I did it very quickly and this washes out. I could start it again if I wanted, but it blends well enough to look good underneath my hair. So I'll go ahead and show you how I put this in. And I'm sitting back so far because extensions are longer and I really want you to get a feel for what they look like. Okay, what you do is you take your hair and you section it off. There is a bone in the back of your head that is right here and it kind of sticks out. And you use that to put the extension right under that little stick outy bone. So I just use a little pink clip here and clip this hair up out of the way. Then I'm going to take the extension and again, these clips are fabulous. They just, you can hear them. They are really, really strong and these extensions stay in beautifully. I absolutely love these extensions. They look good and they wear well and they really blend with your hair beautifully. And then you just click them in. See, it takes like 10 seconds to put them in. And even though they're darker than this hair, I think they look very, very natural and they blend in beautifully. And as you can see, it just looks nice and much thicker, a little bit longer. Let me find my real hair here. This is my real hair and this is the extension. So the extension is maybe an inch longer, but it is much thicker. And so when my hair grows a little bit longer, that will be helpful. Okay, that is the front. Let me show you the back. I hope it looks good. There is the back. And as you can see, you really can't see that extension in the back at all. It starts right here and goes right under that big bone, that stick outy bone. And here it is from this side. It just looks very, very natural. There's the bottom of that hair. And as you can tell, it just looks a lot thicker and my real hair does. And I particularly like the single weft extensions if you just want more fullness on the ends of your hair. And if you get two pieces like I have done, you will end up getting two of the little extra pieces here. And here they are, there's one, there's the other one. And I cut them to be the same length. 
and I'll go ahead and stick them in. You just click it open and just stick it right in there. And it just gives you a little bit more thickness on the side. Here it is, and I'll do this one over here. And these are a little bit lighter because I did not change the color of those. But I think the fact that they're lighter looks really nice. And the things that I really like about these extensions is they're very inexpensive. For under $75, you can get a single weft just like what I have, have it cut to the length that you want, and off you go. And another thing I really like about these extensions is you saw my hair before, and that is aging hair. It's getting thinner. The texture is not as good. The condition is not as good as it used to be when I was in my 20s or 30s. But this extension absolutely adds beautiful quality hair to your head that just looks very healthy and it just kind of puffs out your hair and makes your hair look younger again. And for a 10 or 15, 20 second investment in the morning and not very much money at all, I think it's really worth it. Now, next I'm going to take out this single weft extension. I'll take out the pieces here. And then I'll take out this extension and I'll show you a double look with the extensions. And I am not sure if I can get away with this or if I should do it because it's an awful lot of hair to do too. But here is the other extension. And again, I had my stylist cut them when they were both on my head together. And so they got cut to the perfect length, although she did leave them a little long. She said she was leery to cut off the length because you can't add anything, which is so true. So it's probably better to cut off the length slowly here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a double weft and you're basically going to take one of the wefts and if you decide to use a double weft extension, I would buy the two wefts and then put them together, put them in your hair and take them into your stylist and have her cut them so that way together they're both the perfect length. But what I did is I took a little black sharpie and I put little black marks on these clips to remind myself that that is the extension that goes closest to my head. And then the second extension, here's what you do. And I can't really show you this, but I'll unclip the second extension. And then I just put it right underneath the other weft. And I'll do it and then I'll show you what I did. Okay, this is how it looks. You see what I've done? I've taken one extension, the one with the black marks on it, so it's the one closest to my head. Then I've unclipped the second extension and then clipped it on and clipped it down to where it's good and solid on that and I've created one big thick weft. And now I'm going to put this in and show you what two wefts looks like together. There I am with my kind of thin hair. And again, we're going to go just above that little bone back there. Get my little pink clippy here. Whoops, I lost the extensions. There they are. Ah! Okay, now I'm going to take the double weft extension, unclip the hooks. Here we go. You all may think this is way too thick, but then you just click it in the same place, starting right underneath that stick outy bone. And you really have a lot of real estate there because you can move your extensions up and down just right below that bone to quite low on the back of your head, depending upon how much length you need. And that is the two wefts together. And as you can see, it still has that very blendable good look. And there is the front. And now I'll show you the back. Let me look at it and make sure it looks okay. Yeah. I think that looks nice, but as you can tell, it is no more visible than it was with just the single weft. Okay, there's the front again, and I'm going to go ahead and put in the little free sample sizes here. Then I'll put this one in here. Although these are free and they're known as testers, this is exactly the size that you get. You get, I think, four of these in a normal kit. And when you're looking at the Irresistible Me website, and I'll put the link below, Go ahead and take a look at the full set extensions because they are very good. They just take a little more work and I really think that for my lifestyle, which is pretty much do something quick and easy and get out the door, I really like these single weft extensions and I do get a lot of bang for, for my buck, I think. Well, that was a look at my Irresistible Me extensions and I actually contacted Anna and said, please send me some because I was getting tired of having the older, thinner looking hair and I'm really excited to be able to buff up my look a little bit and get a little bit of a thicker hair look 
Probably I won't wear the doubles very often at all, but the single one I plan to wear quite often and I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that notification bell to be notified of my future videos. Give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Let me go ahead and choose a card, something good to think about for the day. Ooh, I love that. I am not the victim. I am the lighthouse. I am not the victim. I am the lighthouse. Hmm. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, no, I think I do know what that means. And I can think of one way in my life that this really does apply to. When I was younger, I drank too much until I was probably 42 years old, which is when I quit drinking. You know, people didn't know I was necessarily drunk. But before any party, I would have a glass or two of wine and then another couple of glasses at the party. And they didn't necessarily realize it, but I was kind of walking around maybe half lit a little bit. And it got a little embarrassing at the end because I remember I went to a Christmas party at my husband's office and I said something kind of inappropriate to someone. I won't share that with you. But I realized, hey, Beth, this is starting to get out of control. The wheels are starting to come off and you do need to quit drinking. And so at age 42, 20 years ago, I quit drinking. Thank you, God. I'm so happy about that. But I think that this kind of applies to this as just an example, because I could have just been a victim of my drinking and said, well, I'm just going to keep drinking. It feels good to drink. And poor, poor, pitiful me. I have this genetic tendency because alcohol had run in my family and I could have been the victim. And had I done that, it wouldn't have been good for me or anyone around me because it would have kept me living in the problem. And in terms of my drinking, instead of being a victim or any problem that you have going on in your life that makes you experience victimhood, turn that around and say, I'm not a victim, I'm a lighthouse for others. I can share my experience with others. I can share details about how I overcame my experience and was triumphant. And that makes us stronger and healthier, no longer a victim and a lighthouse to others. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.